You ever just sitting there minding your own business when suddenly out of nowhere you're hit with this like totally unwanted flashback of you doing something incredibly cringy around other people and you're like, ah, ah, because guess what just happened to me? <laughs> and rather than doing the smart thing and ignoring it and hoping no one remembers, I'm just gonna share it publicly on the internet. There is no way this could backfire. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You are incredibly prone to these moments when you, as a child, were incredibly attention-seeking, extroverted, and were dealing with ADHD. I was a mess. mess. I, I don't know how my parents and my grandparents and my friends and my friends' parents and my teacher put up with me. Cause when I go back and watch old videos, I think there is no way that I could handle myself. Seriously, if you gave me the task to babysit me 10 years ago, I would just walk out. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Because the problem was I had this intense need to be the center of attention at all times and the hyperactivity to do something about it and make sure I was always the center of attention, whether that attention be good or bad. And a lot of the time it was bad. I mean, even to this day, I'm still kind of like dealing with internally needing to be the center of attention at all times. But at least now when I don't, I realize that I'm not the only person that matters. But eight year old Chris had no concept of that. that. Especially when it came to farting. Yeah, this is gonna be a high class video. Now look, I am a man. That means that there is nothing funnier than a good fart joke. So picture this, right? Me always needing to be the center of attention, but now here comes along a younger brother. Oh, now I'm not the only one getting attention from my parents. They're giving my brother all of the attention, but I still need my validation. So where do I get it from? From my classmates at school, where I spend most of my time. And there was, there was one day Oh, how did my teacher put up with me? I don't know what we had for lunch that day, but apparently my stomach couldn't handle it because as soon as we got back inside to the classroom after a delicious hour long break, I felt the, the, the storm brewing. <laughs> now the respectable thing to do in this situation and what pretty much any normal person would do, right? Is like, you're going to fart, it's inevitable, but you want to uh, split the cheeks so it's a nice silent one and nobody realizes it's you. Young me didn't have any concept of that. Why would I not want people to turn and look at me? So I, uh, I put some force behind it and let her rip. And she ripped. Who Nelly, she ripped. And of course, all the kids turned and looked at me and started laughing, which I liked. I was like, hey, wait a minute. I just made all of these kids laugh and I didn't even have to try and be funny. And remember, I was eight years old. So this was a golden formula. And the best part, was this was repeatable. <laughs> this was repeatable. That's right. So guess what I did? I conjured up the storm yet again. I focused all of my attention on brewing up another... Literally, I was so desperate. I was like swaying from side to side, trying to get the stuff, the, the stomach juices to really mix and hopefully there'd be some chemical reactions. And there were, I let out a second one. You think the first one got some laughs? Let me tell you, when you repeat a performance, farts are the only jokes that get funnier the more that you tell them. I'm, li I'm literally laughing just remembering this now. I figured it out. I discovered the comedy pot of gold, if you will. The, 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 the fountain of perpetual laughs. And I was not gonna give this sucker up. Oh no, I was the class clown. Then came the third fart. And then the fourth fart. And at this point, my teacher caught on to what I was doing. Cause a child doesn't just fart four times in a row. Well, I mean, I guess it can happen. But in general, it's not a normal thing. And I started to get the eyes. You know what I'm talking about. When your teacher gives you the eyes, you stop. If you're not an attention-seeking hyperactive performer, which I very much was. So guess what I did again? But something funny started happening. Uh, at this point, 
the uh, the fumes expanded, if you will, and the kids started to notice, hey, wait a minute, this isn't funny at all, I'm dying! And now all of a sudden, instead of laughs, I'm getting groans? This wasn't the plan, this wasn't supposed to happen. I pause for a second and, and, and really think, what am I doing wrong? I know. I'm not doing it loud enough. Yeah, I, I thought that, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I pushed down on my seat to really get the reverberations to, uh... I should just stop talking. I should stop this story, but nope, we're invested! At this point, I was really creating, like, a disturbance in the class, and my teacher, rightfully so, said, Christian, if you do that again, I'm going to make you get up out of your seat and run around the class. Which would have worked on any other child. But think about who she was dealing with. I didn't know shame. The chance to run around at a time when I'm not supposed to and have everybody look at me. Heck yeah, count me in. But it had to be at the perfect moment. And that perfect moment came. The next subject. Now, I don't remember what the subject actually was. All I remember was all of the kids getting out of their seats and sitting in a semicircle around our teacher. Maybe it was like reading? But no matter what it was, there was all of us children gathered together in close quarters. And I felt the, the Diet Coke and Mentos in my tummy. And this time I knew this was it. This was my big moment. Everybody was gonna look at me. Nelly, that I let her rip. <laughs> Everybody stopped what they were doing. All eyes were on me, which is what I finally wanted. I was so proud of myself. And then the teacher looked me dead in the eyes with the most stern look on her face. She said, get up and walk around the room. But there was a, uh, a slight flaw with her plan. And that is, the trail of vapors followed me and then proceeded <laughs> and then proceeded to spread around the entire classroom. There was no escape, there was no safe pocket. I, it had spread to every inch and everybody was inhaling it and dying. And that was the day that I learned what true power was. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, I don't regret a thing. Because <laughs> deep down inside, I am still that hyperactive, attention-seeking, sometimes gassy boy. <laughs> and that was my flashback from today. Do you, have you had one in recent memory? What is your like most cringy moment that you can, that you can recall to try and get attention? Because I want to read it and reassure myself yet again that I'm not alone. Ow! Because, <laughs> oh my gosh, can you even top that? <laughs>